One of Israel's founding fathers, Shimon Peres, is dead at the age of 93, dying last night at a medical center outside Tel Aviv. Uh, Perez was the protege of Israel's founding father. His political career spanned more than 65 years. He served as Israel's prime minister twice and was president from 2007 to 2014. Afterwards, he remained involved in working for Middle East peace. He won the Nobel Peace Prize for his role in bringing about the Oslo Accords. The South Florida community has strong ties to Israel. News Channel 5's Charlie Keegan joins us now to explain what people are saying about Perez. Charlie. Jay, a Holocaust survivor is actually speaking right here behind me at the grand opening of South Florida's new Holocaust Museum. A lot of people here in the crowd have been talking about the passing of Shimon Perez. Of course, he played a big role in Israel's history. When Julius Eisenstein escaped Germany, the Jewish people didn't have a country to call their own. The day when Israel was announced as a, a country was the, the biggest day in my life. Shimon Perez was a leader in Israel from the beginning, helping it become its own country. As this group gathers to remember the Holocaust, they also think about Perez. One of the things that Shimon Peres said was that we mustn't allow memory to eclipse hope. Rabbi Jeffrey Salkin says that means keeping Perez's values alive. Perez won the Nobel Peace Prize for trying to build peace between Israel and Palestine. <laughs> Organizers behind this museum who survived the Holocaust say Perez's message can and should be applied well beyond Israel's borders. Across the religions, across the age, across the spectrum of people. To give you an idea of the impact Perez had here on the world, just take a look at the list, a look at the list of people attending his funeral. It includes President Obama, former President Bill Clinton, Prince Charles of England. Those are just to name a few. From Daniel Beach, I'm Charlie Keegan, WPTV News Channel 5. Well, a testament to the esteem in which Shimon Perez was held, those on the other side of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict also paying their respects. The president of the Palestinian Authority leading the peace efforts of the elder statesman in a message of condolence sent to his family. In it, he expresses his sadness at the news and describes Perez as a partner for peace.